So today we're doing the best of the worst rebuild or the 100 loss rebuild or the really bad team rebuild, whatever you want to call it. We're only allowed to sign or trade players that sign or trade for players that were part of the four really bad teams of baseball this year. I'm talking the Tigers, the Orioles, the Royals, and the Marlins, the 400 lost teams in baseball this season. We can only use players from those teams. We're going to start with the Tigers and then we're going to see who we can get to try to help the team. It's going to be a tough challenge. Obviously, it's the four worst teams in baseball. I think it's going to be a really good video, a really good rebuild, a three year rebuild. Let's see what we can do. If you guys enjoy the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. And as always, in the comment section, let me know future videos you would like to see. Obviously, there were a couple people who brought up the best of the worst or do a rebuild with the 100 lost teams. So, guys, thank you for the comment. I saw that. Great idea. That's why we're doing it today. If you missed last video, it's on screen. Now it's going to be in the top right hand corner. Go and give it a watch. Go, you know, you can pause this video. Go watch that one or you can watch that one after this video. Whatever you want to do, just make sure you go check it out. Other than that, guys, all social media are down in the description below. Go give Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all those things a follow. And let's get into it. The 100 loss rebuild, the best of the worst, whatever you want to call it. Let's get into it. All right. So ignore budgets is off. So we can't just sign whoever we want. Force trades don't have to worry about it. So we're not just going to go crazy with trades or anything like that. It's going to be tough. And a lot of you guys have been asking me why I don't do the draft right now. Well, we're only doing three year rebuilds and it's pretty difficult to get a player from season one to be ready for season three. So I figured let's just focus on MLB players right now. Um, once we start doing like offseason rebuilds and stuff, I may end up doing the draft again. But for now, let's just leave it without the draft. Also, the roster. A lot of you guys have been asking me the roster. I'll put it on screen now. It's still the same one that I've been using for the past videos. Username, writing rosters. So let's take a look at this team. What we're working with. Obviously, the budget's kind of trash. We got this Zimmerman contract that's really bad. Um... We got to figure out something there. Miguel Cabrera's contract's pretty bad, but like looking at the team as a whole, it's it's garbage. Obviously, Casey Mize isn't ready yet. I'm thinking he'll be a season three player for sure. But when you look at the team, it's pretty bad. And then when you think about the Marlins, the Royals, the Orioles, it doesn't really give me much else to kind of get excited about. So let's just kind of backtrack. Let's just see who we could get for the Royals. Maybe Amandis is not bad. Witt is a definite get. Like he needs to be in the squad. Um, the pitching rotation for the Royals is not much better. Um, there's not really a player on the Royals that I'm like interested in. Maybe Jacob Barnes. But outside of that, I'm not really feeling anything over there. Let's go take a look at the Orioles because, I mean, there are a couple of glitchy players in their lineup. Trey Mancini is one of them. Renato Nunez usually does well. So maybe try one, try to get one of those two guys. Um, when we take a look at their pitching, maybe a John Means. John Means, maybe Richard Blyer. Maybe those two guys are options. Um, no one really in their, their farm system gets me excited. Maybe... Uh, Adley Rutschman, but even then, that's that's kind of pushing it. So then, the last one was gonna be the Marlins, and maybe Brian Anderson. That's actually not a bad one. If we can somehow find a way to get Brian Anderson, that's actually a good third baseman to get. Um, I'm trying to think of anybody else. Maybe Isan Diaz, maybe for like season three. Um, but outside of that, I'm not really intrigued by anybody there. The pitching rotation for the Marlins. Uh, Caleb Smith. Eh. Stecken Rider is actually not bad. He wouldn't be a bad player to get. But outside of that, you're kind of looking at uh, very bad options throughout the whole team. So let's let's see what we can do. Let's see what trades we can come up with. And then uh, you've seen the team. It's pretty bad. Let's figure something out. All right, so we're going to do this trade. Jordan Zimmerman, Franklin Perez, and David McKay for Whit Merrifield, Alex Gordon, and Jacob Barnes. I'm only taking Alex Gordon to get this trade through. And then Jacob Barnes doesn't look like a terrible reliever. He doesn't look great, but he doesn't look terrible. And then obviously Whit was the big, the big piece that I wanted out of this trade. So we get a new right fielder. I think we should be okay now. All right, I think this is going to be like the next or like the final like 
big potential player. Brian Anderson for Parker Meadows, Isaac Paredes, and then Jacoby Jones. Um, the trades that we're gonna have to make for the, the rest are, is gonna be pretty tough. Um, I don't know how we're gonna do it. All right, Jose Cisnero, Jake Thompson, and Daniel Pinero for Richard Blyer. I want that strong lefty in the bullpen. I actually really want to strengthen the bullpen because the Tigers is atrocious. All right, Gregory Soto and Jose Azucar for Drew Steckenrider. And I'm still trying to figure out the rest of the team because our center fielder is pretty garbage. And do we put Alex Gordon there? Um, like we have wit, but I don't know, man. This is this is uh this is pretty tough. Um, starting pitching isn't amazing either. But when you look at what the other teams have, it's not amazing either. Maybe try to get John Means before he blows up. You want Daniel Norris? Ooh, you kind of do. All right, we're gonna we're gonna get John Means. How about that? Boom. There's the trade. Wencio Perez and then Daniel Norris. John Means. I like that. That's another strong pitcher. And then Casey Mize comes up next year. Um, yeah. Okay, we're making moves. All right, Riley Green and Matt Manning for Trey Mancini. We do have an abundance of left fielders now. But uh, you know what? We'll, we're going to make it work. I'm probably going to move Nico Goodrum to the infield. Um, I think that kind of works a little bit better. Or we just play him center field. Trey Mancini needs to get in here somehow. Um, We'll do this. Call me crazy. But we're going to have... Wit play center and then he'll play right and we'll kind of go like that um, probably for season one I mean it's not a terrible team at all it's actually pretty good obviously this isn't the, the way I want the lineup to look in the order but this is kind of what we're working with for now we may end up making other trades and stuff but for now just to kind of start it off this isn't terrible and uh, even when you look at the pitching staff it's uh it's not bad either um i really don't want jimenez anywhere near the uh the um the closing spot so we'll probably go like this uh we'll find ways to improve the pitching staff the lineups okay but i'll change the order for sure but this is kind of what we're working with for season one let's see how it plays out i'll see you guys at the end of the year Alrighty, so season's coming to an end and we're actually not terrible you know i thought i thought we were gonna probably win like 50 games or so but we finished the year 83 and 79, which is definitely not bad. It's not bad. It definitely could be a little bit better, but I feel like we're moving in the right direction. We got a gold glove, but I'm not really too worried about that. Let's just take a look. We missed out by five games. Okay. And then the wild card 14. So if we're really going to make the postseason, either we need to start winning a lot more games or we just got to win the division. So, which I guess means that we got to win more games. So let's take a look. Boyd wasn't terrible. Uh, Michael Fulmer was solid. John Means was okay. Edwin Jackson, Jacob Barnes should not have been there. Why was he there? Maybe I accidentally left him there without even like paying attention, which most likely happened, which is a huge fault on my part. But overall, pretty happy with the way the bullpen's looking. If we would have had Barnes there and then maybe like anybody else in the long relief role, maybe we would have done a little bit better. But that's my fault. So I think I was moving the pitching rotation around, getting it all set up for the season after I did like the order of the lineup. And I must have just kept Jacob Barnes there. So looking at our bench, it's not terrible. Um, still can't believe I left Jacob Barnes there. But let's take a look at the team. Trey Mancini, average is low. Home runs is high. RBIs is high. Brian Anderson did well. Um, and then Miguel Cabrera, not bad. Probably not going to keep him after this season but for a season not terrible looking at the rest of the squad it's not terrible either like ronnie rodriguez solid Kristen stewart wasn't terrible um what i'm thinking about doing is maybe getting do we keep Kristen stewart because i'm thinking about i want jorge soler that's who i want mondesi maybe he normally doesn't do well um hunter dozier maybe so like these three are kind of on my list. Salvador Perez, perhaps 33 home runs, huh? So, I mean, there, there are players here that I'm like, maybe we get them. Um, I'm kind of interested to see how the, 
the Orioles did. Jonathan VR just never holds his value. And then looking at the rest, I'm not really sold on any of them. And then when we take a look at the Marlins, um, I didn't want to look at John Birdie. Harold Ramirez, Rojas, Starling Castro is okay. Gary Cooper, meh. Jorge Alfaro is a person I'm keeping my eye on. I want to see how he develops. Um, but for the most part, pretty, pretty meh. Do we get Victor Victor Mesa for the memes? Jesus Sanchez. Ooh. We'll see how he develops. Asan Diaz is up to a 73. Okay. So we do have some options like I'm keeping my eye on because I definitely want to make some, some changes to the team every season. But um, no playoffs this year. We still got two more years to make it. And we're not that far off. Um, off season wise, we're probably not going to make too many changes. Um, really the only changes that I would make is to the staff, which, you know, nothing too exciting. Um, I'm surprised Alex Gordon didn't retire. I'm not going to bring any of those guys back. I'm going to change the staff off camera. Um, let's take a look. 40 man, meh, um, arbitration, probably give it to everybody just, just to have people on the squad. And then contracts, definitely give it to everybody. And then we'll see if anybody from uh, like free agency was part of the squads. It doesn't look like it that I would want in the team. Um, let's check, let's check, let's check. I'm trying to see maybe Mark Trumbo, but like he's not really helpful. And then looking at the rest, Jordy Mercer, we just let go. So there's no point in bringing him back. Alex Gordon, we just let go. So yeah, there's not going to be any free agency signing. So let's just hop into season two. I'll see you guys at the start of it. To start season two, we're going to trade for Jake Junis of the Royals. I, they're both about the same, Brad Keller and Junis. Um, just Junis had a little bit better of a year. Uh, do we go for Brad Keller? Or do we go for Junis? Let's just go Junis. We'll take them. We need some starters anyways. Let's go over there. All righty, Sandy Baez, Jamer Candelario, and uh, Troy Montgomery for Caleb Smith. I think that's all the starters that we need. Um, now I just want to strengthen this bullpen a little bit. Maybe figure out this lineup as well. Joey Wentz, Spencer Watkins, and AJ Simcox for Jorge Soler. I think that's going to be the only offensive trade we make. And then I think the lineup or the bullpen is going to have to stay the same for now. So let me get that lineup and bullpen and starting rotation sorted. And I'll show you guys what we're working with for season two. All righty, Grayson Grainer, Fernando Perez, and Samir Duenas for Michael Givens. Um, I think that might be it now. I think we've got it sorted. Um, this is the lineup. This is what we're working with. It's not bad. Again, that's, it's pretty top half, like top heavy. The bottom is not that great. And then we're going to have kind of like this. Givens is going to be the setup for Stecken Rider. This is the starting lineup. Everything looks good. Um, yeah, it's not terrible. It's not great. Uh, Casey Mize might come up next year. We'll have to wait and see. If not, we can trade him um, if his stats aren't looking like amazing, which they are, but they look good, but they're not great. So maybe he's a trade piece along with Matt Hall um, to get someone really good. When I say that though, there really isn't too much else we can go to trade for. Um, Cause when you look at it, we got one more year. Really the only player potentially would be Mondesi depending on how he does this year. Maybe a Salvador Perez. Um, Hunter Dozier maybe. So maybe we could trade them for like a, just a little bit better like bats and stuff. But um, I've looked at the Orioles lineup. The Orioles lineup wasn't great. Um, it doesn't look amazing at all. And then when you look at the Marlins, really the only original player would be Jorge Alfaro, Isan Diaz, Jesus Sanchez. So, you know, we're kind of limited on options. So if it doesn't work out, we can always trade Casey Myers. We'll have to wait and see. Let's see how season two plays out. All right, so season two went a lot better and it looks like we have a team that might actually push in the postseason. So we won 97 games, lost 65, won the division, taking on the Astros. Not a team I really want to face, but you know what? We'll make it work. Uh, Jake Junis had the lowest whip in the... Okay. Had the lowest whip in the bigs. I'll take that. Awards. Again, a gold glove. Nothing special. So let's take a look at standings. We're ranked 18th, and we won the division by three games. So that was, uh, that was a close one. So let's take a look at the pitching, see how things went. Fulmer did great. John Means wasn't bad. Matthew Boyd wasn't bad at all. 
Um, Caleb Smith, very solid. And then Jake Junis, very good. So we had some really good starting pitching this year. Spencer Turnbull wasn't great. Um, Jimenez was okay. Stump, not so great. Jacob Barnes wasn't terrible. Uh, Richard Blyer was great. Yikes. Uh, Michael Givens was terrible. And then Steckenrider was as well. So let's try, let's try Givens in this closing spot just because that's what he technically is. Our bench was pretty bad. Um, when we take a look at Witt, Witt didn't hit the ball too great. Average is pretty low. Um, good doubles, good home runs, RBIs, just average wasn't there. Brian Anderson's doing great. Um, Miguel Cabrera still somehow holding his rating, doing great. Um, okay, Trey Mancini. Average is never going to be high, but he's putting up crazy amount of run production. Jorge Soler wasn't as good as I would have hoped. Want to see those home runs and RBIs go up for sure. Kristen Stewart wasn't terrible. Nico Goodrum, kind of the same thing. So we're kind of like the mid-20s um, home run totals. Jake Rogers, Jesus. And then uh, Ronnie Rodriguez wasn't bad either. So we had, you know, a little mixed, like mixed results for the lineup. That may be the area that we dive into the most this uh, next season. So going against the Astros... We're facing elimination right away, so let's just let's just play it, see what happens. Um, we definitely we we don't definitely, but we do have one more season. Uh, let's just go Boyd and see what happens. Um, things might go really good, or okay, they're starting off really good. Um, it's just the pitch the pitching that I'm gonna be worried about. See how things play out. Um, okay, tie ball game. So not not what I was looking for, but. You know who knows we we at least made the postseason so that's a, a step in the right direction uh we are down one matthew boy just give me like one more inning there we go you're done after four uh we'll we'll make it work now uh let's just go to turnbull this might get ugly now but um okay we get a, a walk to start it off but we can't do anything with it um all right turnbull one more inning all right i'll take that for sure can we get a run though we need that run Josh Reddick goes deep. All right, so we're down two, ninth inning. Turnbull didn't do terrible. I mean, one run over what, four innings, five innings? Can we do something here? Osuna, probably not. Yeah. All right, postseason's over, but things things are looking up. Things are looking up. I definitely. Let's just take a look. I think. Let's go. Let's see. How did Mondesi do this year? Not good at all. Holy cow. What about Perez? not great either hunter dozier man those were like my main targets coming into next year and like nobody did well what about nicky lopez he's not he's not bad he's not bad uh let's take a look at the marlins see what we got here isan diaz okay he might be an option to look at um alfaro we just need a better hitting catcher that's kind of one thing that we do need starling castro is going to be going down so we definitely want to avoid him but um, looking at like the the normal lineup for these guys, nothing too special. Um, DJ Stewart, probably not a player I want. Renato Nunez is up to an 80. He might be a player I look into. He can play the corner outfield spots in third base. Brian Anderson's pretty versatile. He could play a lot, but um, who knows? Uh, Adley Rutschman, not that great. And then, yeah, that's... Uh, yikes okay we're gonna have to figure something out because uh we're in a we're in a tough spot do we take a chance on mondesi do we take a chance on any of these other players that uh we saw that didn't do too great so let's let's just figure it out um go into the off season review staff okay we need two new staff members all right free agency let's just take a look see if anybody that is from those teams went into free agency it doesn't look like it Trevor Rosenthal was kind of a, a Tiger at one point, but I don't really count that. Jake Diekman was a Royal at one point, but um, it doesn't really look like it. Yeah, it's not looking like it. So again, we don't really have Jonathan VR. How did you do this year? Not great. And you got traded, it looks like. So it's not looking like there are any options. Miguel Rojas kind of a boring one but he's not a bad bench bat um yeah let's just hop into the next season and see what we can do all right for season three we're gonna go for paul fry of the orioles for alex lang and julio panigua 
Panagua, whatever his name is. Uh, we needed a new reliever. That's our new reliever. Now I'm torn. Do we go for Mondesi? Do we go for Salvador Perez? Like, because our catchers have been atrocious when it comes to hitting the ball. Like, this season wasn't terrible, but he only played 32 games. I've, John Hicks, he wasn't great when he played. He hit 250. So, I mean, we kind of need bats. So, what if we go... We throw Casey Mize in there. I don't think we're going to be able to get this trade over. Um, I think the only way we could do it... I don't know. I don't want to trade Brian Anderson, Kristen Stewart. I don't really want to get rid of. I don't even know if this is possible. Yeah, it's not. Um, Hunter Dozier. What about Nikki Lopez? Oh, uh, is he much better than what we already have though? This is tough. All right, I really don't know if I want to do this. Um, Nico Goodrum, he's been, he hasn't been terrible. Like he's been decent, but I'm hoping we can get a breakout season from Mondesi. Casey Mines just isn't high enough rated. I'm gonna take a chance. It normally doesn't work out like that, but let's let's get uh, Mondesi in the lineup. We'll put him there. We'll go like this. Maybe throw him there, and then. We'll, we'll see how it goes. I honestly have a feeling this might backfire on us. And I may have just like ruined our team completely. I did want to go for Salvador Perez. I just, there was really no way of making it happen. Um, maybe we could get Alfaro. Because we do have a lot of outfielders. And they're not all getting into the lineup. Um, so maybe we, we could do that. Maybe we could get a... Alfaro and see if we can get him to be our catcher. All right, this is the trade for Alfaro. I think that might be it. It gives us a good hitting catcher, um, hopefully. And then I think that's that'll do it for the team. Um, it should help us out. I mean, I feel like I'm pretty happy with the bench. It's not amazing, but it's, it's better than what we've had. Everyone's developing. The team looks good. We've got power. We've got some contact. We've got speed for sure. And then our, our bullpen looks pretty good. Um, I don't really want fry there. I'll probably go like this and see how things go. Um, maybe like this. I think we have an extra player now. So let's just take uh, demerit out. We don't really need them. And we'll just send it like that. So yeah, you guys saw the team. I think that's the final edition of the best of the worst that we could do. It's, it's not amazing, but uh, it's not terrible. I'm kind of interested to see where we're ranked 14th. So it's not bad. We'll see how season three plays out. I'm kind of interested to see how it goes. We made the postseason last year. I don't see why we can't make it again this year. See you guys at the end of season three. Alrighty, so as we hit September, we're ending the season. We should hit the postseason based on our record. I'd be surprised if we don't. And as you guys can see, we're 103 and 59, won the division, taking on the winner of the wild card. And uh, we had a league leader, Michael Fulmer and John Means pitched very well. So that's good to see. Um, and in the comment section, let me know how you guys would have done this team differently. Obviously, you can only work with Orioles, Marlins, Royals, and Tigers players, and they have to be from the 2019 roster. So, yeah, that's that's kind of what I'm looking at. I mean, it was it was interesting to see what we came up with. Um, obviously, we finished with 103 wins in season three, so we definitely did something right. We're only the 15th ranked team, so that's kind of interesting to see how that went. So let's take a look at our bullpen. Turnbull wasn't terrible. Jimenez, not bad. Normally, he does terrible for me. Uh, Stumpf, not great. Jacob Barnes, not great. Paul Fry was an amazing pickup. Richard Blyer looks like he's solid. And then Stecken Ryder. So what happened to Michael Givens? He just got sent down. He didn't. He had a 306 ERA and they sent him down? No. Like, why would you... So who did they call up instead? Because there's no reason why we shouldn't. They called up Demerit. Get get out. Get stop. Stop with that. I don't want him in my team. He had a good year. Why would you get rid of Michael Givens? Uh, Fulmer, fantastic. Um, means a, a, 
whoa uh caleb smith wasn't terrible jake junis about the same and then matthew boyd was solid as well so overall very happy with how this pitching lineup finished i would let michael gibbons close games and then we got a killer bullpen this season it actually wasn't too bad our bench meh our bench was pretty meh M Whit merrifield solid throughout this entire thing a little bit of a dip last season but very consistent with the home runs the run production extra base hits brian anderson is kind of good kind of good just wait till he hits 27 and he's a beast i mean he hit close to 300 all three seasons so i'm pretty happy with that miguel cabrera is starting to fall off but he's still decent 246 is not great but you know what i'm not gonna freak out about that i'll even move him down a little bit in the lineup before i forget um we'll just we'll put him right there and then we'll do this that way i don't forget and we get into the postseason i'm like oh no why is he so high up in the lineup so next up is gonna be mancini he hit almost 300 he hit 50 home runs 114 rbis so great season for him love it jorge soler he's not hitting a lot of home runs but average is up there so i'm not going to complain about that Mondesi, the average wasn't great, but it was better than what he did last year, which was 220. He hit 260 almost this season, so it's not terrible. Uh, Cabrera, we already talked about. Kristen Stewart, not great. Alfaro, a little bit better. Um, I mean, he's kind of hovered around the 260 range, so whatever. And then Ronnie Rodriguez is actually not bad. Okay, maybe a little, little bit of a, a cheap player to acquire in a franchise if you need like a, a platoon second baseman. Um, so let's see we're taking on the Blue Jays and uh, we sweep them. So that's awesome to see. Let's get the pitching rotation sorted and uh, We should be good uh, Yeah, let's go like that. Let's go like that. I like that so Now it's the athletics can we get past the athletics and All right elimination. What is this game six? Huh, we're home, Comerica Park. John Means is feeling it, so let's keep it going with him. Kind of like the squad, kind of like how it looks. They have Story, Profar, Matt Olson, Conforto, Chris Davis. That's a pretty solid team. Um, Riley Green from us, I'm assuming, but somehow, I don't know. But one nothing, <laughs> just a solo shot to start the game, and we're down 2 nothing. James Paxton's on the mound for them. It's going to be a tough one. And of course, Riley Green comes back to haunt us. Somehow he gets on the athletics and we're down four nothing. Hmm. I think this is it for our squad. John Means just not feeling it today. Riley Green's having a, a field day on us. And uh, if we can get like four innings out of John Means, I will be happy. But uh, I don't even know if we're going to. Okay, we did. So, oh, we got five, but we're down five. So is it really a win? You know what I mean? Is it really a win? It's it's uh it's a uh, hundred percent over. Holy cow! Eight nothing. It is just not our day. It's not our series. We're just getting smacked around. Okay, maybe maybe a little bit of a late inning comeback. Oh, he got thrown out at home. That would have been eight to five. That would have made things a little bit more interesting. Back to back outs. Uh, all right, let's go. Let's go fry and then let's go Steckenrider. <sighs> Five run game. We got two innings to do it. Okay, four run game. Nothing happened there, but we got one more inning. We're down four. Can we do it? Not a good start. Good drum gets on base. Okay, Ronnie Rodriguez gets on base as well. So this is okay starting to build up two run ball game come on mancini ah oh, that sucks all right just wasn't meant to be overall i'm pretty happy with the team who would have thought that the worst team the worst teams in baseball would be able to turn something around in three years like this go to the postseason i'm pretty happy with it it wasn't amazing and obviously it's it there's like not a lot of players to get excited about, you know, like Whit Merrifield's a great player. Brian Anderson, great player. Trey Mancini, great player. But when I don't hear like Mike Trout, Bryce Harper, I'm not hearing players that I'm like, oh, those are superstars that I want on my team. So, um, but 
this team is actually pretty solid. I'm actually pretty happy with it. I like the way it turned out. And now you guys know that you can get some pretty good players in franchise, even if they're on a really bad team. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button down below. Subscribe if you're doing enjoyed the content. Make sure you turn on the bell icon, click it. Make sure all notifications are turned on so you're notified whenever a video does go live. And in the comment section, let me know future videos you would like to see. I've been picking you guys' comments like crazy, starting to get videos you guys want to see in the future because, that's just, you know, if you guys want to see it, I definitely want to bring it to you because then you're going to watch it. So that's about it, guys. And uh, yeah, the usual two videos are on screen now. One that's going to be recommended by YouTube for you guys to watch if you've never seen it before. And also the last video that I uploaded that's about it, guys. Again, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.